ninjas are a bunch of enemy combatants. Kahalai Yamla Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai by Shim Haraka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf Tawada, the house of David, and the brother Zion out of GMS Boston. Once again, here on my channel, Lord willing, this is edifying. Yeah, so the title, you read, you read the title of the video, you, you ninjas are a bunch of enemy combatants, right? And what is an enemy combatant, right? An enemy combatant is a person who either lawfully or unlawfully, that's a key word too right there, right? Lawfully or unlawfully, right? Engages in hostilities for the other side in an armed conflict. Usually enemy combatants are members of the armed forces of a state in which another state is at war, all right? So a lot of things stand out, a lot of buzzwords, you know, um, made me think of precepts in, in, in other words, right? So an enemy, right? Who is your enemy, all right? First and foremost, you saw Edom, which is a so-called white man, a so-called white race, the pale man, the red man, uh, your Shashua, all right? Wasted away is he. All right, the man that brought your ancestors over to the Americas on cargo slave ship, right? He's your enemy, okay? We always use uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, as a as basically the, 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 the smoking gun when it comes to the scriptures to prove who are the Israelites, right? That's a, a very key scripture, especially Deuteronomy 28 and 68, to let... You know, the, the, that, that, that scripture has woken up a lot of people. Let's just put it like that, right? So within that same chapter, the scriptures tell you exactly uh, what was going to be done to our people. Let me get this scripture real quick. Um, this is Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28, verse 68. Right? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And that word Egypt is really synonymous with hard times, bondage, captivity, slavery. All right? Bondage. Okay? Again, when, 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 when the children of Israel remember Egypt, they remember bitterness. They remember slavery. They remember hard times. They remember being uh, abused. All right? Ruled over. All right? So the Lord said... Uh, the word says, in the Lord, Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, right? Shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Those ships were what? The cargo slave ships. That our people were stuffed in like sardines, all right? The middle passage, all right? Or the transatlantic slave trade, if you will, all right? By way whereof I spake unto thee. He spoke these words unto Moses, okay? Thou shalt see it no more, the it in this um, particular uh, verse is the land, all right, which is our land, which is the land of Israel, Holy Land, okay? The land that was in, uh, we, we got received as inheritance, starting with our forefather Abraham, all right, down to Isaac, down to Jacob, Jacob being a patriarch of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, right? Jacob wrestling the angel, giving him that strength, thus, you know, the Lord changed his name to Israel, which is Yahshua, all right? He is the prince of power, translated into the English. All right, it says, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. That's the key word. That's what I want, right? Sold unto your enemies. We were sold, all right, for musket guns, for wine. We were traded. We got on auction slave blocks, and they bid it for us. They cast lots for us. Big bucks, little bucks, old, young. They didn't care. Thus saith the scriptures, right? So it says, there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you. Meaning, obviously if you're going to be sold, somebody's going to be buying you. That, that's talking about redeeming. That word there, like redeem you, save you. No man is going to do that. Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, in the world, ignorantly called Jesus Christ. It's not a white boy, a so-called black man, according to the scriptures. He is our deliverer. And that's that's an omen nomen. Our people, our, our names are omen nomens. Our names mean something. So when we receive names in the ancient world, they mean something. Break down Yahweh in the Lashwan Kadash, which is the holy tongue. All right, um, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai Slak here. If that's what it means, he 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 uh, exists to deliver. So he's the savior, you know. 
he's here to save, all right? All right, so that word there, enemies, came up. So it lets you know clearly who are our enemies, right? The enemies, friends don't sell uh, friends or buy friends and kidnap them and make them work for them for free forever and not repay them back. Because you can work for somebody, but you're given a severance. That word, a severance, severance package goes back to the scriptures where you work for seven years and you had the option, the, 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 work, the work, the slave or the employee. When you break down that word employee, that, that's what it means, a slave, a servant, right? When you go into the human resources office, that's what you are. You're a human resource, all right? But that, 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 that servant had the option to continue working or to be set free. But nevertheless, that, 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 that person was set up for life. All right, you set that person up with land. Yes, they get land, all right? With, with goats, sheep, oxen, you know, property to, uh, uh, to be set, all right? That's how it works. But we didn't get treated that way, all right? Um, so it says, the enemy combat and a person who is either lawfully or unlawfully. So it, so I seen a video, right? I was a video on Dame Dash and it was another video on, uh, go, it was a picture of Dame Dash and a picture of Jay-Z. And the title was, you know, Jay-Z's a seller. Yeah, he is a seller, right? And he's, he, he's an enemy combatant. He's working with the enemy, all right, um, to put battery packs, all right, and, and our youth and our children, you know, to sell drugs. To give them that fake makeshift American dream that you can make it, you know, if you just sell drugs. You, be, you become a dope boy. This is what you could receive. He saw dangles that these, these, these goddamn uh, so-called celebrities and the faces of our children and even grown men. And, and the people that support this are enemy combatants, man. They are willingly or unwillingly or whatever. See, when you're enemy combatant, whether you're doing it willingly or unwillingly, you got to go. You have to go. It's not up for the army or for the people because as a soldier, your job, matter of fact, I don't want to turn this into a, um, a rant, right? Let me see. Um, let me see. So I want to make sure I imply the scriptures here, right? So I apply the slack here. All right. Real quick, right? The book of Sirach. All right. Chapter 12, verse 10. It says, Never trust thy enemy, for like iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So when you're working, all right, for these guys that are working diligently to take us out, I said that we can murder our own people, sell drugs to our own people, our rape and rob and pillage, and, 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 and carry the stigma of, you know, just murder. Look what happened to Offset. Look at all these rappers um, in the past, you know, couple of years. Let's just say the couple of years. Uh, we could go back to Tupac and Biggie and, and, you know, go back even further than that. But look at all these people. Bar Marley, which was killed, by the way. All right. Nipsey Hussle, which was killed, by the way. All right. Um, um, when, you, when you consider, you know, what, what, what rap music has done to our people and, 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 and the great destruction that it's caused. At this point, you know, these people are enemy combatants, man. And they're willingly or unwillingly or unlawfully, you know, doing the bidding for Satan, which is our adversary. And until Jake really realized this, they're going to have this spell upon us. Because that's exactly what Esau has upon our people, which is a spell. You see it when you, you ride and buy and you, you, you pull up at the stop sign and you'll see some Jakes in a car and they listening to that music and they just bopping, whether it be drill music or whatever. They got real demons on them, man. They allow any this music to get into their minds, all right? And, and, and it's just it's, it's demonic. Our people can't go nowhere all right, without killing, without definite air, without uh, mean mugging. That's also in the scriptures, right? Um, let's go to that real quick. The scriptures say, um, thou shalt have an evil eye. Right, let's go to that real quick. That's also in, in Deuteronomy, right? Which proves just what? That we are those people. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 58. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. All right? And, and really, Israel Israel is uh, by, um, by majority. It's just a, a, a soft, meek, docile, uh, peaceful people, man. 
It goes to show you that, you know, the wicked has really put his stamp on us because we 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 want to be at peace and at a love with everybody, even when they they're willingly open openly destroying us or openly discriminating on us or stepping on our necks, putting us down at the bottom. Jake still want to be friendly toward these people, but toward one another is smoke. Towards one another is war, right? So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Jake be mean mugging you look at you look at your brother with disdain and hatred you know and it goes back to the curses first and foremost but the heavenly father set the soul clean and white man to implement these cer certain things movies like boys in the hood uh, ministers to society let's say what they're calling you they're calling you boys in the hood right or, or you're a menace to society right to the fact that we're we believe the hype we don't even trust one another the music right they always making a fool out of Jake every Jake that arises or celebrate they get hit with a uh, a, a rape case, whether it be Kobe Bryant or Michael uh, Jordan or Tupac or whoever gets to a certain level, you can guarantee they're gonna hit you with that rape tape, that rape charge to uh, put a disdain, all right, in the minds of the people uh, all, all throughout the earth. No matter how big we get, this is all uh, systematically done by design, all right. But at one point in time, it was cool. We have been blindsided by it. But we living in a time right now where so much information being put out, the Heavenly Father ain't taking nothing for an, uh, for an excuse. You a so-called black, Native American, and Hispanic, and you with this BS, the Heavenly Father is really taking you people out. Judgment is really going forth out the earth. Prior, before, before I came into the truth, the Heavenly Father was kind of short-tempered with his. You know what I'm saying? Satan even allowed you to live more. You know, bow down and worship me, and I'll give you this, 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 that, that. Now these people are selling out, and bro, the Heavenly Father is straight whacking them. Whacking them instantaneously. All right. Uh, it says uh, uh, toward the uh, wife of his bosom. Yeah, and, and that's the, that's a fact, man. We the deadbeat father thing. Having children, just lining up with any women, just busting all up in whoever, with no intentions on even no intentions on being a family man. No intentions on taking care of this uh, your responsibility, right? Speaking of responsibility. Bro, we, we got to really start taking responsibility for ourselves. We have to really start being each other's um, hardest critics. We got to criticize ourselves dramatically. All right? Dramatically. More than what anybody else will criticize us for. Accountability is something that's really lacking in Israel. All right? We really need to take accountability for the things that happen. Everything ain't fucking Esau's fault. Sometimes you got to look in the mirror and look at yourself. Say what the hell you can do better. All right? Uh, toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his ch children when she, our oh, people are cursed. Look at the curses that's on our people, man. We hate each other to death. We hate our skin color. We hate our tribesmen. We hate our brother. Uh, Simeon hate Levi. Levi beefing with Simeon. Ishakar in LA beefing with Judah. Right? DDP, uh, we hate each other. Our, our, our women, this is, this is, this is, this is just um, gender wars between our women. Age wars, light skin versus dark skin, straight really lynch, man. Hey, but it even said, oh, it just this won't work. Uh, basically, at the 40 years, it'll automatically, you know, undo. But this is what has to be undone. You know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta undo this. This is this because this is unsustainable. But the water, how about you? I the heavenly father left the elect. Let me close off with that one. He left the elect men that was gonna uh, basically, you know, not stand for this, man. This is 1 Kings, right? Uh, 1 Kings chapter 19, uh, verse 18. Yet I have I left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed to Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him. So Baal going back to Satan, going back to the adversary, going back to the enemy, which is exactly what we were talking about. Going back to the enemy. Being an enemy combatant, bowing down. You say something, you say that we Israel, they threaten you to, they threaten your pockets and then all of a sudden you apologize and the elect ain't gonna apologize. The elect is gonna be unapologetically Israel. Unapologetically Israel. It ain't nothing you can say. You take away our job, we'll be fine. Alright? You wanna cancel us, we're fine. Alright? Hey, 
you even want to throw us in jail, we'll be fine. The elect, matter of fact, let me not say we are making myself a part of the elect, Lord willing, I hope that I am. But one thing is for certain that whoever the elect is out there, they're not gonna, they're not gonna submit to this goddamn society. They're not gonna conform to the ways of this world. They're not. All right. They're just not. All right. And I, you know, we don't know what the hell is gonna come with Kanye. Uh, what's gonna happen with Kanye? West. We don't know nothing. You know, we don't know nothing. We don't know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever the Lord has planned for him, is what the heavenly Father has planned for him. But one thing is for certain, you gotta stand firm. Jake got to be in these sellouts, man. They have to be exposed completely right alongside their masters. Uh, I'll close out on this scripture. They got to be exposed, man. You know, a lot is happening. So really, brothers is really fired up in the spirit right now. You know, diving in the scriptures, figuring things out. Hey, we, we want salvation. We want to be delivered. We want to we want to receive that power and that glory to be able to overthrow our enemies or to see you know, um, the scriptures say, blessed is he that liveth to see the downfall of his enemy. He's saw on the ropes right now, you know, whether it be uh, his economy, uh, his military, uh, his, 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 his morality, his vibes, you know, everything. All right, but we got to stand strong. We got to make our feet uh, like pillars, like the scriptures say, all right? Our faith in Yahweh Shai is what's ultimately going to get us through, all right? Everything else will fall into play. Once you got that faith in your house, Shai, everything else will fall right into play. All right? I'll close it out here. Uh, Romans, just a quick lesson. Uh, Romans um, chapter 8, uh, verse 31. It says, uh, What shall we say then to these things? If the Most High be. Uh, I'm going to read it verbatim. All right, if God be for us, who could be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him? Also freely give us all things. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? For it is the, it is the most high that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? It is Yahweh Shai that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who even is at the right hand of Yahweh, who also makes intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or pearl, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor debt, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's just the spirit you got to be in, man. That's the spirit you got to pray for if you're not in that spirit. You know, that's the gift you got to pray for, to be wrapped up in the spirit and the love of Yahweh Shai for the brotherhood and for the truth and for the ministry. All right. And be ready to stand on your two feet. All right. Ready. Be, be ready to risk it all. Be ready to lose it all. All right. At the drop of a dime. All right. Be ready to be on the go, to be on the ready. All right. Prepare yourself to the hell that's about to come to this world. The hell that's deserving. The only thing we could do is hope that the Heavenly Father has mercy on us. And he wraps us up in, 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 in his wing. Uh, but that hell is coming to this earth regardless. All right? What's going to happen with you, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen with our own lives. But as far as prophecy, the scriptures say we do know. And we prophesied that the destruction and the death of this world, man. All right? And as it is written, Babylon will fall. But hold your feet firm. All right? Double honor to the elders and the apostles of GMS. Peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf Dawada. Until the next time I say Shalom. Ball, 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 and Kwame Ashaba.